All right, I'm going to show you how a front diff works today and why I got this one apart is, well, the plate broke. Pretty common. The earlier plates just weren't as strong as the newer ones. Uh, it kind of wore this, this cage out a little bit, so we put a new one in. We had a Super ATV when we put in there. We took the rollers and springs out of that one and put it in this one. The difference is it has more holes, more teeth holes, a 12 tooth. Therefore, you can use a 12 tooth plate. This is a Sandcraft plate. More teeth equals more surface area, more or more or less likely to have a problem. Now, if you're beating the crap out of it, you're probably gonna have a problem anyways. We also broke that pin. That's a hardened pin from Sandcraft. It's tapered. So you just knock the old one out, drive that one in until it stops. Here's a quick rundown on how these diffs work. So this ring gear is shaped like a socket. Every roller fits in its groove. So when the magnet that is in this side case grabs on this plate, it creates just enough resistance to let everything twist. When it twists like that, it pushes the rollers out of their grooves to these little ramp areas. And the ramp areas grab the actual hubs that hold the axles. When it, the harder it binds up, the harder it grabs, therefore you got four drive. When you hear it popping, that's the actual hub in here. It's slipping amongst the rollers. They're in a bind, they're trying to grab everything and it's slipping inside of them. So therefore it's, that's what all the popping is. It's not really tearing up too much stuff, but it is wearing on the teeth because they're jumping back and forth and it's wearing on the cage because the rollers are jumping back and forth. So that's kind of, that's how a diff works. It's very simple. That pin right there is important is this spring goes on here. It crosses over itself. And I can't do it one handed or maybe I can, but it crosses over itself just like that. And then this, the plate holder here, it has a pin in it also. Well, that pin lines up with that pin. Therefore, when the, when the plate is grabbed, that spring is a little bit of tension, and then when you switch off, it releases it back to a neutral state. That's what that spring is, is keeping you in neutral. So when your magnet grabs, it all twists together. When your magnet let go, it all releases and goes back to neutral, therefore keeping the rollers in their grooves, and that way the, the hubs spin freely inside. If you're going in four drive and it won't come out, usually that pin is what's broke because it, it doesn't try to keep it neutral anymore. It's just letting it spin and keep bound up all the time. Now, when you put it in reverse, it'll kind of free itself up. Mm -hmm. The actual springs in here that hold the rollers, same thing, they push the rollers into the grooves to kind of keep them away from the hubs to keep that neutral position. So it's kind of how a, a diff works. It's, it's relatively simple. We're probably gonna put all these internals into this heavy duty case. Super ATV makes this. This is their cast case. It's a little bit less money, just as strong. The biggest difference is, of course, the thickness and the heavy duty, but you can see how much threads are right here for mounting versus right here. There's a lot more. Same thing back here. More thread area than back here. You kind of back up and see them, the thickness there to there. Um, that's very helpful. A lot more threads. They give you longer bolts also compared to the factory bolts are probably only about like that long and use Loctite, you know, and make sure these surfaces down here are clean on the frame for when you put it in there. That way it seats nice and easy. Sometimes you can throw a little Loctite on right here on the bottom and it'll, it'll help lock it to the frame. Not, not like you don't need bolts, but it's just a little insurance. Loctite actually works when you pull the oxygen away from it. So when you smash it up in threads and stuff like that, when the air is going away, Loctite hardens up. Another advantage is the pinion gear is held in by this cap where on the factory when you got to peel the seal out with a screwdriver or something ruin the seal and then there's a snap ring. Um, most people this dip is just fine. You're just have to replace the cage and the plate every so often. Once you put a pin in you should never have any problems out of the pin itself. These little the plastic retainer it doesn't wear too bad but every once in a while they will wear out. Uh, this is a little more extreme duty, but if you do break a case, this is a great option. The cast one is is pretty reasonable price. The the billet, you know, fully machined one, that's a little bit more pricey, um, but it is insanely strong. They also come with the magnet already in them, and they come with the wear ring already in them. So Super ATV really hit a home run on that one. Uh, very comparable in price to a factory unit, and it's got a crazy warranty, and it's stronger. 
So I would definitely look into that. Um, like I say, Sandcraft makes these plates. These plates are all machined. They're machined out of one piece of metal. So with machined teeth, they're a lot stronger versus these older style plates and some of these thin plates like this, the tooth is just way too long and they bend it down. Therefore, it's gonna bend and break. And that's just kind of part of kind of part of it when you stress on it hard. Trail rider guys, girls, y'all may not have to ever worry about this. People that are getting a little more extreme racing, hill climbing, this is probably something you'll have to look into at some given time. But definitely look into it. They're pretty awesome products and it's relatively simple. It's a very simple process on how this all works and there you go.